Mobile food trucks will soon be coming to Whole Foods in Hyannis. Road work continues today in Hyannis. And middle school students are honoring veterans. These stories and more on this episode of Barnstable Today. It's Thursday, November 13th, 2014. I'm Sarah Mannell. Whole Foods Market will soon be able to add a pair of food trucks to its parking lot in Hyannis. The Zoning Board of Appeals voted in favor of the move during its meeting this week. Attorney Mike Scott with Nutter, McLennan and Fish urged the board to approve their request before the vote. Uh, prepared foods at Whole Foods is a significant portion of their sales. It occupies a large sales area. Um, the mobile food venues are intended to supplement that sales area. Uh, with a store being 26,000 square feet, it's um, fairly small for a suburban uh, market for Whole Foods. Uh, for example, their um, store in Hingham is 40,000 square feet, and the one in Dedham is 65,000 square feet. So the mobile food venues are intended to supplement that sales floor during the busiest part of the year for them here in the Cape is the summertime. And so we would respectfully request that uh, we be able to utilize that portion of the parking lot for two mobile food venues to, be, to, to sell prepared food items. The measure passed with four board members voting in favor of the move and only one voting against. Whole Foods says they will operate the food trucks seasonally. The Department of Public Works will be paving Scudder Avenue and Marston Avenue in Hyannis today. The limit of work includes Scudder Avenue from West Main Street to Craigville Beach Road and the entire length of Marston Avenue. Vehicle access during paving will be restricted to one lane. Drivers are asked to seek alternate routes. Work will take place between 7 a.m. and 5 p.m. and should be complete by the end of the day tomorrow. Veterans are being honored at Barnstable Municipal Airport. Students from two local middle schools had the opportunity to interview veterans during the Wings of Freedom tour this September. The artwork they created as interpretations of those interviews is now on display at Barnstable Municipal Airport. Barnstable This Morning host Sarah Colvin takes us inside the exhibit with airport manager Bud Brialt. Good morning, everyone. You're watching Barnstable this morning. I'm Sarah Colvin here at Barnstable Municipal Airport with Airport Manager Bud Brielle. Bud, good morning. Good morning, Sarah. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Great. So we're not outside on the tarmac. We're right. not up on the roof. We're not in your office. We're here um, in the main portion of the airport, a really very cool art display behind us. Tell us a little bit about this and how it ties into Veterans Day this week. Uh, this is a program that they're entitling it from the words of warriors and started, I don't know, with an idea, I guess, from the middle school and then they came to us looking for do, to do something and it kind of really coincided with the arrival of the warbirds back in September. So we got the students to come out and interview uh, veterans and then to meet with them one on one and so that they listen to their stories and then the students would go back and do an interpretation of what they heard. Wow. And then so the artwork is based on those students' interpretation. They've also written an inscriptions uh, for each of the art pieces of the art that they did. Uh, and it's really to read some of them uh, as one of the instructors was saying brings a tear to your eye on some of them. Some of them are kind of really yeah. <laughs> but they, I think it's wonderful for the seventh and eighth graders that they've done this. It's a way for the students to learn more about the history of, of the military services and for the servicemen to do more of an interaction with the community so it's a, a, a double benefit if you will. Exactly and really what an experience for these the seventh and eighth grade kids to have met one-on-one -on -one with mm -hmm. the veterans and I notice a lot of Coast Guard here um, what, what kind of veterans uh, were did they did they speak with was it just Coast Guard was it Air Force no, was it Army it was Navy a all sorts of combination branches. of things it was Air National Guard Army uh, I think one of the gentlemen that was interviewed was a Vietnam veteran. I don't know if they got any World War II veterans or not, but certain, they were certainly there in the audience when we had the Warbirds arrive. Uh, so it was mostly a combination of Coast Guard, Air Guard, and Army, I believe. And you'll, you'll see that throughout. And some were active duty, some were not. 
Uh, absolutely. And really, you know, when you look at these, the middle school kids are really a, a range of talents, a range of different mediums. I mean, we've got everything from behind us. We see mostly kind of drawings, uh, pen and ink or crayon or colored pencil, mm -hmm. but there is also included in this exhibit some really cool sculptures as right. well. Excellent sculptures. I hope you can get that on the on the roll, so to speak, when we're done. So some of them were quite unique in their in their thought and how they put that together. And I think for seventh and eighth graders, it's really great. Uh, we wanted to thank the veterans, uh, the veterans organizations, and the two schools, the Barnstable Intermediate and the Bourne Middle School, and their instructors uh, for putting on a great, a great opportunity. And I, I would really like to see this happen on an annual basis if we can do it. Sure. So is this the first time that something a collaboration like this has, has taken place? Yes. Yeah, so in, in the past, we've we have highlighted some uh, school artwork in the old terminal. We haven't really done it that much in this terminal, uh, but this is really kind of unique, and I'd really like to see it happen again on a, on a regular basis. Great. And of course, this is going to be on display uh, for throughout the week, so people can come right. down and take a look at this and check it out. Anybody can come down to the airport. Right. Anytime. Just park in the parking lot. You get a free 30 minutes of parking. Come on in, take a look at the exhibit, and just see what the students are doing. Great. And uh, we culminate with a reception for the students and the veterans on the 18th at 5.30 in the afternoon, and the following day we'll be taking down the artwork. Great. So it'll be a chance for the kids to get to see the artwork. And do you know if the veterans have seen any of these pictures I before? I don't know if they've seen them yet or not. So this may be the, the world premiere, if you will, of the artwork. And I'm sure uh, quite meaningful for them to see the interpretation of what the students got out of right. their interview. Yes, and then the, uh, I think the quality of the artwork for the grade level is it's amazing. It really is. Yeah, it really is. And good. I do I do enjoy um, you know not only looking at all of these really impressive images, but seeing what the students wrote as well. And mm -hmm. as you mentioned before, the the students did kind of write a little bit about their picture and about mm -hmm. the the veteran, everything ranging from a couple of sentences to a really long paragraph right. about about their experience. Some of them are quite moving. They really are. Yeah, they really very are. Nice. And what is it? What is it like for the airport to to um, put on an exhibit like this? As far as um, I mean, why 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 bring why students it? artwork? I, I think we we've always been trying to get into the art programs, and we like to work with the students and try to get them involved with the airport. You know, aviation is a is a field that they could look at for the future. Uh, you know, we'll be opening up a school with through the Cape Cod Community College here on the airport uh, next September. So you know, it's sort of a, a natural lead in perhaps to get them involved with aviation, and also we like to support the students, and uh, we and we do want to support the arts, and we've been trying to put art displays. And, and in the terminal for ever since we opened and it's a way for us to uh, kind of get back to the ambiance of the Cape. Great. You and know? Yeah, and really like to see those local artists, especially our students represented uh, here right. in the airport. It's, it's good for people to see. So again, this will be on display here at the airport through the 18th? Through the 18th. Great. And before I let you go, I want to kind of shift gears and you said you got some good news about yeah. JetBlue, so I want to hear a little bit about good that. Good news about JetBlue is that um, they will be coming back. We've been saying that before, but we weren't sure. And uh, their new schedule is out. They will start again as a seasonal uh, uh, service between here and JFK and New York, starting on the 18th of June this coming year and through the 7th of uh, September. And if you're interested in getting a good deal on seats, go up on their website and book your flights now. Great. Well, Bud, thank you so much uh, for, for letting us come and take a look at this exhibit, and uh, we'll, we'll have to uh, get a deeper look at it. Thank you very much, Sarah. Thank you Appreciate so much. It. Bud Breald, of course, airport manager here at Barnstable Municipal Airport. For Barnstable This Morning, I'm Sarah Colvin. And that exhibit can be viewed at the Barnstable Municipal Airport through November 18th. The Barnstable High School Drama Club's production of The Great Gatsby opens tonight at 7 in the Knight Auditorium. The show will continue on November 14th, 15th, 20th, 21st, and 22nd. All general admission seats are $10. The Recreation Division is hosting its annual family-friendly turkey shoot this Saturday morning. The event is a fun adult-child basketball shooting contest that runs from 9 a.m. to 11.30 a.m. A parent guardian is paired up with their child. Each teammate shoots 10 foul shots. The team that makes the most shots in will win a gift certificate and a turkey. You can register at the Barnstable High School gym prior to your scheduled shooting time. The event is free and open to all. Each age group will take about a half an hour with kindergarten and first grade beginning the event at 9 a.m. Well, be sure to tune in to our hour-long news program, Barnstable This Morning, weekdays at 7 a.m. On tomorrow's show is our weekly arts and culture segment. We'll learn more about the Diamondback Terrapin Release Program with Natural Resource Officer Amy Croto. Plus, we'll have all the news and information you need. For Barnstable Today, I'm Sarah Mannell.